How's it going, YouTube? A little bit of a different uh, location here. I'm just finally on the way to a golf tournament, so I thought I would just do a quick road trip. Probably won't shoot any of this first tournament. I'll probably put a couple of these videos together, you know, through the first part of the season. Whoops. Yeah, so I'm just heading out uh, from the city. I got a zip car. Car clubs in the back, which is great. And uh, yeah, just uh, start into the season. It's a little shaky. I'm going to try to visit a friend. I'm going to Kingston, which is sort of like east part of the province, a couple hours out of the city. And it's supposed to be really cold tomorrow. Frost delays. It's going to be the same day as uh, the PGA. And uh, those guys are going to be dealing with everything we got. So I'm going to be bundled up. Uh, yeah, so I'll probably just do, you know, a little bit of road footage, um, these first few, and uh, think of this as a kickoff for the year. And um, yeah, so I thought I would just check in and uh, I'm not going to do any, you know, videos while I'm driving and I won't do any at the tournament, but, you know, I'll do little check ins and try to give a sense of like, you know, being on the road. It's sort of fun. Yeah, I got a hotel for the night and the zip car and I'll be back into the city and back to work um, on Friday, which is going to be Thursday. It's Wednesday night. So there you go. See how many of these I sort of stitched together and uh, hopefully there'll be something to watch. Uh, that's that's fun. And and we'll just get ready for uh, more golf tournaments. It'll be really fun. Okay, uh, let's see what happens next. Yeah, so morning of the first tournament, quick update with, um, yeah, they're doing a frost delay, which is what happened last year. So sort of not unexpected glad they're doing it um so i'm just chilling out in the, the hotel room glad i came out here the night before um so yeah they're saying i'm just waiting for an email you know, hour and a half two hours maybe so just chilling out at the golf channel on seeing if they're starting up the pga it looks like it and uh yeah get into some golf uh hopefully we'll, yeah it'll be a little bit warmer that'll be good um, yeah and then we'll do uh, maybe a check-in uh if i get to visit a friend in the afternoon if not we'll uh pick it up on the next event which is uh i don't know in about a month no about two weeks so uh we'll just sort of do these little uh you know uh video diaries <clears throat> of this early part of the season all right um talk to you in the next segment how's it going uh so another so a little another video another qualifier i'll do a wrap up of these you know once i finish them all so another qualifier the ontario amateur uh, it was actually at an old course uh, where I used to play as a kid. So was, I just been, saw my grandparents' house. The, that I haven't seen it in 20 years, 30 years. So that was cool. Uh, they're no longer with us, obviously. But uh, so yeah, so I got one more qualifier in a couple weeks. Uh, it was super hot today, uh, which is good. Different than two weeks ago or 10 days ago with a frost delay. So uh, yeah, I'll just do little, um, you know, check-ins on the road. Uh, I got one more. Uh, in a couple weeks and then I'll do a wrap up and then uh, yeah first three I'll have three events under my belt which is amazing um, and then we'll see how that sets me up for the rest of the year and maybe the winter okay so uh, we'll check from another car uh, update and then I'll do a wrap up you know as I as I've done all these all right see you in the, uh, at the next stop uh, another uh, videos it's another hotel room so that means a, another golf tournament a tripod here today so um down in buffalo uh back in the united states which is really cool so just uh checking in the hotel room about to head out to the course uh it's gonna be cold today it's supposed to be like 80 but it's like right now it's like 50s in the 50s so you know enough clothes have enough clothes on but i'll be fine um anyway so i'll do a check-in and wrap up after i do all of these so i've done three so far so that's pretty great. I'm sure I'll mention this in the wrap-up, but that's like as many as I've done in the past two years, like every year. I've already done them. It's only June. So uh, yeah, so uh, I just thought I'd check in, about to jump in the car, get to go get some food, coffee, and then um, play some golf. So that'll be great. And then uh, I'll just do a wrap-up um, of uh, all three of these um, and piece them all together for us. Okay, see you, uh, see you when I'm done. And we're back, back on the couch, uh, back at uh, home or my, my current home. Yeah, so uh, a real fun whirlwind tour. Um, <clears throat> so I did check-ins there from each event. I was in uh, <clears throat> Kingston, Ontario, which was, they were all about two hour drives. So I was a bit of an experiment. So Kingston, <clears throat> I went out there and played um, the Ontario Mid-Am 
and uh it was my first event and also all of these are like a, i've only played four rounds uh all year <clears throat> and three of them have been these events so i'm pretty ecstatic about my results not ecstatic but you know i'm happy it's been it was good it's good the game is i think is going to be in a good place uh for next year fingers crossed let's not even think about next year let's just figure out what happened here so i went out there and played on the ontario mid-am which is like 25 and over uh played a really nice course <clears throat> of course i'd always want to play uh and i'm practicing trying to just go and play these events cold like i'm not trying to do um practice rounds or anything and uh let's see how i do i'm learning and i'm getting really good at learning courses really quickly so uh sorry lots of there's gonna be lots of tangents on these um updates <clears throat> so i went went out and i missed qualifying by one i would think i was 77 so for like my second round of the year my first tournament <clears throat> in a while uh, so finally some good greens greens running quote unquote quickly they were really slopey so they weren't super fast but they were close to what i've been was ex you know used to uh, in the New York City area, and sort of keep parking back to the, those. The, yeah, the MGA runs some of the nicest events, um, like out there. It's like basically running, playing a PGA Tour, a level run event. And so their greens are just great. They run super fast. There's pin sheets. They treat us really, really well as players there. There's, they do, you know, if you make the cut, they do thin like lunches for you. There's spotters there's like it's great so the events run by golf ontario and golf canada <clears throat> are some of the crappiest events i've ever played in my life i'm sorry they are terrible anyway so the greens were good at uh, the mid amateur um they were you know surprisingly fast and so i putted you know well um because i put well on fast greens <clears throat> and so yeah i missed by one which was you know it is what it is. The guy I played with a couple of really nice guys, really good play, really good players. One guy was in his sixties and he got in. He got shot seventy six. He was a great guy. Um, he was also <clears throat> um, involved with the course I was caddying at last year, so that was nice. Sort of, you know, caught up with him. It was great. Um, and then they had the Ontario Amateur Qualifier. <clears throat> so that one I tried to. It was about a two hour drive, and I tried to drive in the morning and do the event and i just i i did not have the gas i'm too old to do that i when i was younger i used to be able to do that um but um so anyways that the greens were like ugh, terrible the greens were terrible the course had been aerated so my big boo brouhaha about these is that they do these events so early in the year and i guess none of the courses up here will <clears throat> give up their course at any other time for these events um so yeah i don't know what the problem is with that up here um anyway so these events are really early in the year and we had a very late starting spring so the course the fairways had been aerated and um <clears throat> you know punched so that you know um and there was no lift clean in place on that so you know i was hitting out of punch marks Anyways, not to make excuses. So anyways, the greens were terrible. I, I When the greens are slow, what I've been doing is just putting as if I, the, like the speed I think it should go on a fast green, like the pace. Yeah, I was like three putting everything. I think I had like last year, the same Ontario Amateur, I think I had 37 putts this year. I think I had 35 putts. Um, but I'm glad I did that because, so I didn't get anywhere close to it. And I'm hitting the ball well in these, you know, just like short game rust is still there. I just went, I just got back from doing the Porter Cup qualifier in um, Niagara Falls, New York. So it was great to be back in the States again, even just to touch base. It was really great. A really, really well run event uh, if you're an amateur golfer. And the Porter Cup is, uh, in points wise for the Walker Cup, it's right up there. I think it's like the second, or it used to be the second highest amount of events given out, uh, points given out to winners and top finishers right behind the u.s amateur i think another a few other events have now maybe jumped over that um <clears throat> i'm just going by what they said on their youtube channel i know the porter i've known the porter cup but uh it's a very prestigious event and so i did the qualifier uh for it and uh i shot 76 
uh, which was uh, so I was only I only missed by like four shots or five shots. Like I think seventy one or seventy two got in. It was it was a tough day. I ended up signing for a seventy seven. So that doesn't DQ me. It just keeps the higher score. Like so, Roberto Vicenzo or whatever sixty nine. Go look that up. 68, 69, 69 Masters. I think or sixty eight. Where he signs for the wrong card and loses the Masters. Um, <laughs> uh, so um, I boneheaded out on that. I thought a par a hole was a par five, and it was actually a par four. Um, <clears throat> and I marked myself as a bogey, and uh, so it was a six. I looked when they posted the scores. I was like, I didn't double anything. What's uh, so? Anyways, so uh, lesson learned: uh, count your strokes hit. Don't count if it's a bogey or a par or whatever. Uh, anyway, so that's good. I'm always learning things in these tournaments. But yeah, again, I'm hitting the ball really, really well. You know, it was it was really, really well run event. The greens were very quick. The pins were very difficult. But hey, we had pin sheets. It was amazing. Uh, and they gave us a lunch at the end. It was like so nice. So, you know, chatted with the, the guys I was playing with and they were great. Um, good young Australian player playing D1 college in the midwest and then a, another good canadian guy from the st catherine area, which is right near niagara falls he was uh, a really good player he just would, got injured so he was just hanging out back in canada came down to do this start playing again both really guys learned about some other tournaments so that's really good uh so yeah so i've played three events so that's like more than i've played every season since i've been in canada since i came back up and i've already done that so i've figured out uh, I have two more qualifiers in August, and then I potentially haven't even had two more events in September. Uh, so, you know, so what I'll do is I'll just, so that's amazing. So I did my Tiger stats, um, and I'm already, like, so much better. Like, my scoring average is, like, down by, like, five shots uh, <clears throat> from last year. So 76 is my lowest round as a uh, I amateur golfer ever. So uh, <clears throat> in a you know, competition and competitive event. My last one was 76 in the U.S. Amateur, U.S. Mid Amateur Qualifier that I signed up for out of the blue randomly <clears throat> in 2005 and just, had, I don't know, how to make a career day. So I'm trending in the right direction. So, I mean, obviously now we're, it feels like I'm back to where I was in 2019. So the past three years just sort of like, it was just treading water. I mean, I learned a lot. It was good, um, but sort of feels like I've picked up from where I started from. So the last, I was saying, saying that in an earlier video, the last three years was sort of a wash. So what's, what's next? So the long rambling video as usual, I'm sorry. Um, so I have two more qualifiers in August. So I'll fill you in on what those are. They're pretty cool events, uh, pretty cool. I mean, I'm out of my league, but it'd be great. And then, then two more potentially in September. Um, and uh, these are like uh, in Michigan and, uh, Northwest Ohio, Northern Ohio, uh, <clears throat> North, Northern, North, Upstate New York sort of thing. So I'm learning out where some events are up in this way. I mean, they're drives and I'm, so I'm spending a lot of money on cat, on zip cars and stuff, but it's totally worth it. I'm having so much fun. So competitive golf is like one of the great, the other, both of the guys in both my groups, um, you know, just out of the blues, it, competitive golf is the most fun thing you can do if you're a golfer. <laughs> It is great. I'm having a blast. So, and it's nice to start playing or trending in a good direction. I mean, I'm not making these cuts, but I'm I'm playing well, and you know, it builds well for senior golf. Let's say so. Um, yeah, I'll just check in. I'm still practicing. I'm going up to. I found a little driving range that has a great short game area, which is all I need. I'm not playing a lot of rounds because it's super expensive up here. I mean, at the range, a small bucket is twenty dollars. And like a small bucket at Beth Page, the same size was six dollars. So, <laughs> so yeah, little different scales I'm working with here, uh, uh, economic scales. Um, so I'm sort of trying to ha life hack everything here. Uh, this should be like a life hack channel. Um, anyway, so uh, there you go. I might do a couple. I'll do a what's in the bag video, and then I'll do actually a video of the train, the two training aids I'm using that have been. I feel have been really helping me. You know, just I've been able to hit in the simulators at work and now starting hitting balls in the range, small bucket. But and these, you know, I've got a couple of training aids. I think they're really been beneficial. And then, yeah, I've just been working on putting and like the, the putting green at this little driver range is surprisingly quick and it's really slopey and it's been great. 
because uh, the greens, uh, the putting greens at Beth Page were really flat. So it's been so helpful, like getting visuals of lines and breaks and speeds. And so it's been great. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Just what a great start to the season. You know, so a little July, like June, July, just practice, grind, and then back in, in August, sort of the second half of the tour, the uh, pre-55 tour. So uh, I hope you guys' season is going great. Thanks for checking in. Uh, sorry, this was a long rambling video, and luck, but lots of nice little on the I did some, I'll medit this all together. I'll try to put my, maybe I put a screen grab of my tiger stats. If not, I'll do it at some point. And um, yeah, so there we go. But yeah, we're back on the horse. This is great. Three, after three years of sort of, you know, treading water and, you know, getting worse. Like, I was like, am I getting worse? Like, what the heck is happening? And I'm not. I'm getting better. I'm back to getting better. I just needed more regular events and re events, good events to play in. So, okay. So, uh, I mean, I'll continue to do the Ontario events, Canadian events there. They're just good warm-ups and just, you know, keep my head level and don't get too frustrated and use them to prep for for um, a little bit more well-run events. Let's put it that way. Okay, so, all right, guys, I'll finally say goodbye. Uh, thanks so much for checking in as always. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.